Night of Pan. Within the system of Thelema, the Night of Pan, or NOX, is a mystical state that represents the stage of ego death in the process of spiritual attainment. The playful and lecherous Pan is the Greek god of nature and the masculine generative power. The Greek word Pan also translates as all, and so he is a symbol of the universal, a personification of nature, both pangenitor, all begetter, and panhage, all devourer. Sabazios, 1995. Therefore Pan is both the giver and taker of life, and his night is that time of symbolic death where the adept experiences unification with the all, through the ecstatic destruction of the ego self. In a more general sense, it is the state where one transcends all limitations, and experiences oneness with the universe. In the AA system of attainment, after the adept has achieved their knowledge and conversation with their holy guardian angel, they then must cross the great abyss, where they meet Sharonzon, who will tempt them to hold on to their subjective self, and become trapped in their realm of illusion. To escape the abyss, the adept gives their deepest sense of earthly identity in the symbolic gesture of pouring out their blood into the cup of Babylon. The adept then becomes as a babe in the womb of Babylon, impregnated by Pan, and their lifeless self becomes as a pile of dust, taking rest in the city of pyramids, which lies under the night of Pan. This is why it is called night. It represents the lightless womb, and also the time before the dawning of the new sun, or rather, the new self. They then wait in this sublime state until they are ready to move on to the next stage, and become born again from the great mother Babylon, begotten by Pan. Alastair Crowley identifies this process as one of love. He explains in little essays towards truth. The truly magical operations of love are therefore the trances, more especially those of understanding, as will readily have been appreciated by those who have made a careful Kabbalistic study of the nature of Binah. for she is omniform, as love and as death, the great sea whence all life springs, and whose black womb reabsorbs all. She thus resumes in herself the duplex process of the formula of love under will, for it is not Pan the all-begetter in the heart of the groves at high noon, and is not her, hair, the trees of eternity, the filaments of all-devouring Godhead, under the Night of Pan. It is also described in the mystical text Liber 7. Ascend in the flame of the pyre, O my soul! Thy God is like the cold emptiness of the utmost heaven, into which thou radiest thy little light, when thou shalt know me. O empty God, my flame shall utterly expire in thy great night of Pan. In his The Book of Lies, in the chapter Sabbath of the Goat, O the heart of Nox, the night of Pan, Pan, duality, energy, death, death begetting the supporters of O. To beget is to die, to die is to beget. Cast the seed into the field of night. Life and death are two names of A. Neither of these alone 
is enough. In his commentary of this writing, Crowley explains, It is explained that the triad lives in night, the night of Pan, which is mystically called N-O-X. And the O is identified with the O in this word. N is the turret symbol, death. And the X or cross is the sign of the phallus. N-O-X adds to 210, which symbolizes the reduction of duality to unity, and thence to negativity, and is thus a hieroglyph of the great work. The word pan is then explained, pi. The letter of Mars is a hieroglyph of two pillars and therefore suggests duality. The letter A by its shape is the pentagram energy and N by its tarot attribution is death. NOX is then further explained and it is shown by the ultimate trinity, O, is supported or fed by the process of death and begetting, which are the laws of the universe. It is then asserted that the ultimate letter, A, has two names or phases, life and death. Please hit that notification bell to ensure you are notified of each upload. Share, like, comment and subscribe to support the channel for more Ancient Mysteries.